program, you will play the hot potato game. But this is not your grandma's version of hot potato. It will use some powerful programming concepts and Sphero. Let's get started by clicking the program button in the upper right to link a new program to this activity. Name it hot potato and choose the blocks program type. Similar to some programs you already created, you are going to be tossing Sphero around. So to get the best sensor readings, you can disable stabilization. Also, give a basic instruction at the beginning with the speak block, like play the hot potato game, or anything you want. The last setup step is to add a loop forever block so that you can evaluate some conditions over and over again until you stop the program. Hot potato has some similarities to the toss game that you built in blocks too. In the toss game, you had to guess a random animal sound that played in response to each toss, which was detected by the accelerometer sensor. But now you will go beyond that basic if-then-else condition. You will increment a variable value so that it counts the number of tosses and creates a concept of expiration, which is the unpredictable game-ending part that makes hot potato so fun. The player that catches the potato, or sphero, when it expires is out, and the game repeats until one player is left. You will create two variables in this program. The first one is the toss variable. This will count the number of tosses detected by the accelerometer. The second one is the expire variable. This will be the secret random number of tosses that when reached ends the round. Go to variables and click add new. Choose the variable type number and name your first variable expire and set the default value to zero. Create a second variable select number and name it toss. Its default value will also be zero. You now have the two variables you need to build the hot potato game that can be added to the canvas in the next step. If you ever want to change a variable, tap the edit button, then edit on a specific one, which will allow you to edit the name and default value. You can also delete a variable after you tap edit with the trash button in the upper right. Continue to the next step to write the core game logic with loop until. 